Hi, in this video we're going to show you yet another Windows tweaking app, but this one's called Tweak Now Win Secret. So it's broken down into various categories up here, and then each one has various options, and it's kind of cool because it shows you some uh, screenshots to go along with it so you know what you're doing. So I will say not everything works in this app, so I think this was designed before Windows 11. So if you're using it on Windows 10, you might have better luck than with Windows 11. But we'll just quickly go through all the different settings here and show you some examples. So the uh, light and dark mode, that works pretty easily, but that's you know easy to do from the Windows settings. Same with the light and dark for the apps as well. Accent color on title bar, you could turn that on or off. And you could change the default. Education themes, you could turn those off if you don't want to see those. Uh, title bar size. So right now, default value of 1. So if we bump this up, for example, you just have to hit save each time you do something here. So you can see this didn't change anything there. Okay, let's go to the desktop. Uh, if you want to have the computer folder or network folder, click on save. As in there, if you change your mind, just uncheck them, click on save again. Uh, change the icon spacing. So this will come in handy if you have the problem where your icons are spread too far apart because normally you have to go into the registry to fix it. So you could actually come in here and change the settings from this app. Uh, this does not work to just put the uh, Windows information down there. It's probably a Windows 10 thing. Even though it has a Windows 11 here, it didn't work for me. Let's try it again. Nope, nothing down there. Stickers on desktop. I don't know who really even uses those. Change your desktop wallpaper quality. Uh, file Explorer. If you want to enable or disable access to the File Explorer options. So if we go to File Explorer, we have options here. So let's try that out. Save. So it looks like it restarted File Explorer. Let's see if it did. Options is grayed out. Let me turn that back on. Then you have some additional settings that you could actually change from that option setting for File Explorer, such as show file extensions, uh, show hidden files, folders, and drives, and show the full path on Explorer bar, rather than show folder name. All right, privacy settings, advertising ID. Some of this stuff is not super useful here. If you want to get rid of the camera privacy indicator, you could do that. System settings, not sure why you'd want to change that unless you like the older look here. If you want to enable verbose status messages, you could turn that on and that way when you turn off the computer, it'll tell you what it's doing while it's shutting down. Uh, good for troubleshooting purposes. Enable or disable the lock screen. So if we lock the computer right now, you can see we have the lock screen here. Now let's see if it works if we disable it. So now it goes right to the sign on without having the picture in the background. So that's just a way to save you an extra step of not having to click to get the uh, login box here. I actually like that, so I'll leave that on. All right, login message. So you could set up a message so when other people log in, they will see it. So let's try that out here. Save it here. So let's log in somebody else. So they have to click OK to your warning there. And then they could sign in. That's more something you'd use for fun rather than, you know, being super useful. Icon cache size, timeout parameter, wait to kill. So this is stuff that you may or may not find useful. This one I kind of like here, uh, hide the task manager. So we'll do this. 
Now, if we right click on the taskbar, we don't have task manager. And if we do a control alt delete, we don't have task manager there either. And a couple other options here. I don't think this is going to work to uh, disable automatic updates because Windows always finds a way to get around that. But you could try it. I haven't tried it. Uh, taskbar alignment. This is stuff you could find from the taskbar settings. Uh, this is kind of cool. If you want to have it go to the last one do you have open. So if you had five um, File Explorer windows or five Word documents open and you clicked on the icon here, it would open the last one you had open rather than you having to find it in the list. And there's also another way to do that without this app as well. We did a video for that. Uh, widgets, turn on and off. Same for chat and task view, stuff you could find from the taskbar settings. Uh, this did not work for me in Windows 11. You could try it for yourself. So this part here just determines how long it takes when you hover over something for the pop-up window to come up if you want to slow it down. All right, OEM info, if you want to change your settings, you know, let's say it's a work computer. Then you could also do the computer model if you want to do that. Okay, let's open the system page and see what it has. So, manufacturer phone, hours, and website. Okay, so it had it all. And then let's look at the system page for the computer model. Let me close it out here again. Try it again. There we go, Acme for the uh, computer model there. And of course, if you don't like it, just clear it out. Save it. The key thing to remember is to click save each time, otherwise you're not going to have things work for you. You can change the owner information as well, and organization. And then you can check that out when you go to about, like when you type in Winver. Uh, do it from here, if we have to do a command prompt, let's see. This information here, you could change that. All right, personal folders. This is kind of cool if you want to redirect your uh, folders here. Okay, let's say I want the videos folder to be somewhere else. Let's put it on the root of the C drive. Make a new folder. Give it a weird name so we know it's different. Okay, so we need to restart the computer for that to take effect. So let's uh, do that real quick. Save the changes, of course. So we'll reboot and be right back. Okay, let's open File Explorer and see what we have. And then you can see it's vids. And if we right click on it, properties, location, you can see it's at the right location that we chose from the options there. All right, let's go back in the program here. Of course, we could change that back if we want. We'll have to reboot, of course, for it to take effect. All right, then finally we have the other section. If you want to change the uh, Snap Assist, so if you want to enable or disable the new one, if you don't like the new one, you could turn that off. Uh, this didn't seem to work for me to get the old right-click menu back. The, so let's try this again. Nope, still have to show more options. So Windows, you know, probably went through and made made it so you couldn't change this. We do have a video that tells you how to change this, and I think the process still works if you want to check that out. Uh, menu delay and game mode. So you can see there are a lot of options here, and like I said, not everything works, but most of it does. And if you're on Windows 10, you probably have better luck getting everything to work. And then you have a restore option here. Uh, you want to, you could review changes. So let's do uh, a couple things here. You could enable or disable your changes from here if you want. Just so you know what you did before you click on save. Then, of course, you could import and export your configurations as well.
All right, so that's your uh, overview of Tweak Now Win Secret. So it's free to use. So I'll put a link in the description. You could download it and try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.